are we? We're in Hartful doing World War Two. What's that over there? Looking for some cigarettes or some silk stockings for that special lady? Now I'm your man. Jack Watson's the name and the black market is my game. Rationing has made it really hard to come by some things. Stockings are so short in supply that women staying their legs with gravy look like stockings. Disgusted, but you'll find what you need on my store. Okay, it's just the back of my car, but sometimes I need to make a quick getaway from the police. They call it an eagle, but I'm just filling in a gap in the market. There's Mickey from up the street. Wonder what he's got for me today. You won't believe what I've got today for you, Jack. Can't believe me, look. Lost fashion books. I'll make a pack up with those. We'll keep one back for myself, though. I'll be having a good dinner tonight. Put that light out. You are not allowed any light in the night. You know that. I don't know. Some people don't sleep but carefully get bombed. I'm Bill Taylor, the Air Raid Precautions Warden for Hartlepool. My job is to put out fires and help people that are trapped in bombed out buildings. Most of the time is spent telling people off for having too much light during the blackout. The blackouts mean that there are no street lamps and you can't use car headlights. It's pitch black and so people often wear white, though they have a chance of being seen in the dark. What's that over there? I'm fed up of telling those annoying kids round here that it's too dangerous to go collecting shrapnel from bomb sites. There could be an exploded bombs in there. At last, the all clear. I'm sick of the air raid siren going off. We've had it every day for the last two months. Everyone is walking around half asleep. I hope it doesn't go on for too much longer. He's Jimmy to do the day shift. Our job is never done. All right, Bill. Off with you. I'm going to chase those kids off down the street. Please have found an exploded bomb from last night's raid. Whoa, I wonder what's in there. Bet you there's some shrapnel in there. Look, an unexploded bomb. Young lads who spend their days exploring bombed out houses and buildings to find shrapnel. These were often made into trinkets and kept as trophies. People were advised not to enter the bombed buildings as it was dangerous as there could be an unexploded bomb into the building. People still find some of these unexploded bombs in their backyards today. Oi, what are you doing there? Run! 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 I'm hungry, but I don't have enough rations to buy them. Two thirds of Britain's food and much of our material came from abroad. Many of the ships bringing these products over to Britain were sunk by enemy submarines and ships. When they might run out of food, the government introduced rationing. Each person was issued with a ration book. It was full of coupons that could be exchanged for a set amounts of food from the shop that you had registered with. Each week, people had a certain amount of food they could buy and they could not go over that. All sorts of things were rationed. Most types of meat were rationed. And all dairy products such as milk, cheese and butter were rationed. Peplon clothes were also rationed. And people were encouraged to ride a bike and mend and make do with the clothes they already had. What I haven't seen in years, bananas. I could just eat a banana sandwich right now. I make them using parsnips and banana essences. Can't tell the difference. Scarborough. It's not safe even Hartlepool for you. The Germans will bomb us because we have factories making things for the war. Scarborough will be safer. The hospital was taken down to the train station to go to Scarborough. They haven't even said how long we'll be gone. Could be a few weeks or even months. I hope not. I don't want to be away from my friends and family for that long. My mum gave me a suitcase to put my things in them. Some clothes, jam, sandwiches, and a few toys to play with. I hope the people I'm staying with have plenty of toys to play with. Otherwise, I'll be bored in the country. At least I have my penal comics to read on the train. And I could even swap with the other boys in, on the train if I finish it. Oh, time to go. Remember to be good for the people you stay with. I will. I've just got home from school, but now I've got to do the housework. 
It's a right turn as mum's out with the women's voluntary service. I've got to prepare two hours out. It's really hard to eat out a meal with the ration sometimes. Luckily, we keep cheating so at least I can make real scrambled in and not the horrible mess with the dried egg powder. Although it's good when my friend Daisy pops around, she works on with Landani and sometimes bring me vegetables for tea. Been a hard day today. Had to dig up a whole field of potatoes by hand as the machine was broken. At least I could get some veg for my friends and family. Makes the work worthwhile. It will be better when the men come back home. I won't need to dig up parks or look out the pigs anymore. Hopefully that will be one day soon. At least this weekend is a big dance at Circus Corner where we could meet some area flags and polished pilots from Greece and Margaret. I hope maybe some of the pilots will have been taught the jitterbug dance by the American GIs they have launched.